Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Mid Week War. We are here to talk some NXT. I am back from my excursion at Comic Con where I obtained a Lego Red Skull. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And a Lego Cosmic Cube, which oh. you can't tell because it's clear. Yeah. But yeah, I, I did I did those things. Um, Sorg, we're here to talk some NXT, and NXT has uh, it's got a little weird. <laughs> a little bit. It's got a little weird, Sorg. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious what you think. How how weird you thought it, thought it is, Mad Mike? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. what, 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 Sorg, what is your word? My word, my word of this week is wardrobe. 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 T-shirt. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, my word this week is who? <laughs> okay, is that about Leo and, Rush? And, and no. Jim Neidhart did not make his debut onto an NXT. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, uh, we'll get we'll get into it. Um, all right, Sorg, what was your good for NXT this week? Uh, my good for this week was um, oh, there's the cameras. Um, my good for this week was the wrestling. Um, I I really enjoyed the women's match. I enjoy the uh, Almas and Gargano. I'm on the Almas train now after all this time uh, between this and the uh, Takeover match. I uh, uh, and and even even seen uh, Velveteen Dream and Leo, uh, get in there. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. Okay, uh, my my good this week is um, Peyton Royce. The Topes win the pennant. <laughs> oh I'm boy! Very excited. I'm very excited that Peyton Royce is in the four way match, mm-hmm. and that she's gonna get her head kicked off by Kyrie Zane. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how this has my, to go. My big thought for that match was like, wow, she's taller than everybody. Well, I mean, Sorg, they they grow them tall in Australia. They do grow them tall in Australia. That's uh, unless you're TM61, who I think are tiny, tiny little men. Yeah. But <laughs> are, are they? I think so. I don't, I don't know. It's were... it's been like 18 years since we've seen them, so I don't remember. Feels like it. Definitely feels like it. Yeah, yeah. They've actually shrunk in the time that they've been gone. Mm. In my head, so. But yeah, uh, I I did like the women's match. I like seeing Peyton Royce get the win. But um, uh, we'll we'll jump right into my bag because it's part of it. Um, who the fuck is Tainara Conti? <laughs> that that like I, they said she was in the Mae Young Classic. <laughs> I she, I don't remember her. I can't. I'm like, wait, let's play a game, Mike. Mae Young Classic. Uh-huh. New villain on Gotham. <laughs> I'm okay with that game. Uh, but, like, out of the people who were in the May Young Classic who could be considerable heels in NXT, especially ones who could align with the Honor Squad, I refuse to call them that other dumb name, Um, why Tynera Conti, of all people? You, blonde girl, come here. We need like, to do a thing. You, person who wears your flag on your singlet, come here. I'm trying to remember. Go, go attack this feral dog named Nikki Cross. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Is she, like, did she play up to be, like, a really ditzy character? Because I, I think the story is going to be that they talked her into taking out Nikki Cross. Because cause I, I, I didn't even really, I'm like, why is this even happening until they mentioned about how Undisputed has a problem with, um, has a problem with sanity, right? Um, well, yeah, yeah, and I get, I get that, like because, um, sorry, war games. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fighting a cold, a cold from deep down south and from the 1980s called war games. <clears throat> it's, it's just something I don't know what is going to happen in Houston. War games. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I should be using the cough button, especially when I'm trying to say war games. <laughs> I'm just trying to say war games. <laughs> I think you've made your point. And also, you should get that checked out. I, I really should. Uh, you know, some colds are a bit of a dusty finish. So, uh... I'm with Tina. Could have been a Brits... <laughs> I'm, I, I'm with Tina. Could have been a friend of the show, Britsburg appearance. It, it could have been so many other people. Like, 
it could have been Mercedes Martinez. Mm-hmm. It, you know who it should have been? Bianca Belair. Really? Yeah, I guess so. Unless yeah. she's going to be in the title match itself. Which... No, no, I don't think she is. Oh, she might be. I hope not. We, st- we still have another qualifying match that's not announced. So it's kind of a case of the spoilers. <laughs> Yes, I, I do have a case of the spoilers. I actually picked that up at Comic Con. Uh, <laughs> I picked up the case. I picked up a case of the spoilers at Comic Con. <laughs> it was a Comic Con exclusive. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that that so that was my bad using Tynera Conti when we could have picked at least five or six other women. Yeah, Alex is asking if, if none of the women are from NXT. I'm like, Candice LeRae has got to have wrestled at NXT at some point. Or you mean ROH, right? Um, yeah, R- ROH, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm scanning women, women of Honor in my head, and and no, I, I don't remember a lot of them. Like, unless you bring on Deanna Perrazzo, but she's doing big ROH things right now. Well, or... no, Ray, Rachel Arling. Wasn't she in ROH? Uh, nothing significant. Like, somebody that maybe. But it doesn't like... matter. Right, it doesn't right, matter. Right, right. It doesn't, like the women of honor, no offense to them, they have not gotten a, a spotlight on Ring of Honor. No, 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 absolutely not. I to mean, my knowledge, anyway. Like I haven't been watching Ring of Honor, but I haven't heard anything. Well, yeah, and the big, the big, the biggest things out of it are Kelly Klein and um, Taylor Hendricks. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, like the last thing I remember hearing about women in Ring of Honor was when ODB joined the Briscoes for a hot minute. Oh, jeez. Oh geez, I need to start watching Ring of Honor again. So no, that was turns a, that out was a wild, that was when we were watching. It. I I made a mistake. I made a mistake, sir. sir third time that the Ring of Honor is at a stage AE and they're completely sold out. But then again, they also did announce like uh, Kenny Omega, so I should have known better. Sorg, uh, maybe maybe you should just go on StubHub. I no no, no. general admissions like no, seventy five bucks. Sorg, nothing is ever really sold out. Mm. All right, we'll nothing is ever nothing is we'll ever sold out except a random pay per view in February of 1997 that was put on by the NWO. That was sold out. <laughs> yep, he did that, guys. He did, I that. did that. Moving I did on. What's our next question? Lord, what was your bad? You didn't tell oh, me what oh, your bad, bad was. <laughs> what was my bad? Um, I, I, I think. The street, the street prophets should should stop messing with and dancing with, uh, the the ringside the staff, fans. the ringside staff. That got weird. That, that got a little weird. Yeah, that got and, a little awkward. Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, I don't... although props to Montez Ford for literally jumping the guardrail, mm-hmm. like no hands. Mm-hmm. Like that was in the background of the shot when, um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Yeah. Antonio uh, Antonio Dawkins, like when he was trying to get himself over. But Montez Ford just leapt over the barricade without hands. And I'm like, he's the focus of this group, not not Dawkins. Mm-hmm. Dawkins is trying to stir that pot. He's been trying to stir that pot for four years. And it, it does it doesn't work. It does not does not work. Like we we Montez Ford is is the money on that team. There's a JTG and there's a Shad Sorg. <laughs> I'm not oh, sure which no. one's better. I know which one's gonna be employed longer. <laughs> <laughs> which one's the next black bread heart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Anyways, um, Sorg, what what will be your change for NXT this week? My change for NXT is uh, um, replacing Conti. Okay, with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> with anybody just a who is this girl you know i mean if you're if you're just watching nxt and didn't watch the may young classic you're just like who is random girl coming out here and and causing this motion like and there better be a thing where just like nikki just absolutely destroys her next week on the show uh well maybe not next week because they still have to establish like the rest of the qualifiers no 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 but... no no, no, no. It, i think it, i think it happens i think it's just a side match that they do uh just to push push forward whatever's going on war games excuse me sorry oh, geez, you really gotta get <laughs> that checked out i i'll i'll get the cough button going i'm sorry uh, my change this week would would be um that i don't want to see ruby riot and ember moon in the same qualifying match next week 
Like it's already it's it's Ruby Riot, Ember Moon, and Sonya Deville. Um, I want all of those women in in the match. That that's my like. I know it's not really for this week. Like for this week, I would have had Johnny Gargano win just because Johnny Gargano. Um, because I'm still not sold on Almas. Like, I need him to have a match that is really really good that doesn't involve Johnny Gargano. Okay, okay, I see where you're coming from there. Like, and, but, and the whole, with Gargano getting distracted again by the scene thing. Not as bad, but still. Like, if you wanted to at least make it, like, I don't know, have, I I don't know. Like, Selena taking off her jacket to reveal the DIY shirt. I'm like, that's exactly the same finish as TakeOver. Like and he and Gargano got up saying, That's not gonna distract me. Like, you dumbass. <laughs> like, you had him in your finishing hold. Just just keep him in the finishing hold. Like, I I I I don't when when did we turn Johnny Wrestling into Johnny Dumbass? Heat of the moment. When man. did that happen? Heat like, of the moment. I, I like I know WWE face has got a WWE face. Because they have to be dumb. Mm-hmm. But they don't have to be that dumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. And it was such a good match, too. And it was ruined by a ruined by the finish. Mm-hmm. My personal opinion. I, I'm also you know, on the positive side. I, I like that Leo Rush. Um, yeah, because I, 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 we were talking about, I think, when Rev was on the show, about how Leo Rush and, and Patrick Clark, uh, Velveteen Dreamer, former tag team partners, apparently. And, and cool to see them having a match yeah, on mm-hmm. NXT, right? Yeah, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Although it's it's a bit of a um like because I watched last week's NXT too. I was beginning to be worried that Leo Rush was going to be Kitty Cat Man. Mm. I was worried. I was very worried because I thought Alistair Black was just going to attack Leo Rush. Also, <laughs> and yeah, and, and, get the same thing. And also remember, um, you know, things like Bobby Fish and O'Reilly, they lost their first match coming in, right? Good matches where they lost, yeah. and now they're yeah. doing this like really a main event thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, wins and losses don't mean too too much on NXT. It's no. all about the pu- it's all about the push. Yeah, and figuring things out a- as you go, right? Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where we go with NXT. Mm-hmm. Um, War Games, excuse me, sorry, I, I I really need to get that checked out. Uh, it's it's the con flu. It's the con flu spoileritis. Uh, but Sorg, uh, where do you rank NXT this week? Number two, I thought the wrestling was good. I like the, uh, you know, uh, almost, uh, almost match, the, the women's match. Um, I, I thought there was a bit more to it. All right. Uh, NXT is going to be number three for me this week because I honestly, the first time I went to watch NXT, fell asleep in the middle of it. I also split my watching up, but, you know, I had watched 205 Live like last night, so... Yeah, yeah no, I I was watching NXT and the women's match was great, entertained me, and then of all the things to put me to sleep, it was um, the the bald man fight times. Bald man fight times. Yeah, bald man. But fight bald times man fight times. Because... There was a blast. Come on, but, it's all about the bald but, man fight times. But like, I I want to see I want to see Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan together, either in a match or on the same side of a match. I'm kind of dumb with Lars until he does something. Like, we, we like, gotta, gotta like I said, it. NX, yeah, NXT has this has too many problems of undefeated monster people. Mm-hmm. Like, we only need one on a one hour show at a time. You can't give me Alistair Black and Lars Sullivan doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, so Sorg, where can you pe- the good people of the internet find you? You can find me at SorgatronMedia.com. Me and so many of our compatriots doing some wonderful creative content over there, podcasting and more. All right, and you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM, where I will be live tweeting the heck out of the uh, Lucha Underground season finale next Wednesday. It's a two hour block of blood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Judging by how they've been doing, absolutely. Yes, Ultima Sangre. All right. <laughs> so right. for Sorgatron. By the way, uh, well, well, real, oh, real, yes. real, real, real oh, okay. quick, real quick, because yes. we, we do have a chat. And uh, oh, yes, uh, I do. like to say for the show titles for a midweek war, this one would be WWE Faces Got a WWE Face. 
That would literally be the title of every show I'm on because that's all I can plan about. And they're really <laughs> and they're really worried about your cough. I you know I, I will get checked. Trust, trust me. Hopefully next week it'll be it'll be gone, and I won't have to. I won't have. Oh, I feel war games. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, it really it's it's tough. It's tough. It's tough with the spoileritis. Uh, <laughs> but all right. So for next time, for Sorgatron. I'm Mad Mike, and this has been your Mid Week Or Games. <clears throat> oh, this is the part where we turn it off.